In this video, I'm going to compare two terminal emulators that I have played with in the past. One of them is Ghosty. We see it here on the left hand side and I'm going to click on Western right now. Remember that it's the one on the right hand side. So on the left, we have Ghosty. On the right, we have Western. I'm not running Tmux in any of them so that we leave Tmux out of the equation because it adds a little bit of delay. Each one of them is using its term info file. I'm just going to check that here in ghosty right now. Just going to run this echo term command and you're going to notice at the bottom x term ghosty and I'm going to run the same thing here in west term echo term and you're going to see that it's using x term kitty. The only reason that I set it to x term kitty I'm not quite sure how to help you with that is because if I set it to the west term term info file I have image issues in any of them only when running Western. I have used Western for quite a few months. I like the terminal emulator a lot, but my only complaint about it is that it's slow. It feels choppy, feels laggy if you compare it to other terminal emulators like Kitty or Ghosty. So in this video, I just want to fix a mistake that I did in another video in which I reviewed Ghosty and I compared it to Western and Kitty. The video is shown right here. In this video, I go over the full setup of Ghosty. If you want to learn more about Ghosty, how I set it up, Go and check that video out. I go over a lot of useful stuff like shaders and a lot of other settings. After recording that video, someone pointed out in the comments that Western had a setting that caps its FPS to 60 by default. I have that video here. Here is the comment. By default, it caps the refresh rate at 60 FPS, but you can go 120 FPS in the config. So I just did a little searching online and found this setting max FPS and the default is 60. I had tried fixing Western in the past. I had set this animation FPS to 120. I also have set this front end to web GPU. I'm just going to wrap comments here so we can read the entire thing but notice that this setting is enabled by default as you can read here. So I had tried a few settings in the past but I couldn't get Western to run smoother until after that comment I found this settings max FPS. This is the way that it performs by default when it's set to 60. I'm gonna scroll up and down in Western and you're gonna see that it breaks up a lot. You're gonna see that it feels choppy and it doesn't feel quite as responsive. Now I'm going to switch to Ghosty on the other side and I'm going to scroll up and down here in the exact same file. Notice that this feels way smoother compared to Western. And you may say it's just a little bit, you don't notice the difference, but yes, you do feel the difference when you're typing and you're switching between different Tmux sessions, between different files and typing you're going to feel a lag in Western if you leave the setting set to the default, which is 60. Let me change it to something else so you can see the difference. I'm just going to change it to 10 so you can see how this affects Western's performance, we could say. I just set it to 10. I'm going to quit Western and I'm going to reopen it. I'm just going to bring it back. I'm going to switch back to the same directory that I was on and I'm just going to reopen new of him. Just going to restore my session here. Now it's set to 10 FPS and I'm just going to scroll up and down here. You're going to notice that it feels even choppier, of course, as we would expect. But now, like the YouTube comment suggested, let me set this to 120 and you're going to notice that it's night and day. I'm just going to quit and reopen. Okay, so I just reopened Western right now. Now it's set to 120 and I'm going to scroll up and down and you're going to notice that it feels way smoother right now. I'm going to switch to Ghosty on the left hand side. Here I'm in Ghosty. I'm going to switch to Western again. Here I'm in Western. Let me switch to a different file in both terminal emulators. So I'm in my kittycon file here. I'm gonna scroll up and down in Western. It feels fine. And I'm here on the left hand side in Ghosty. And it feels fine as well. This is something that you may not notice in the video, but once you set it to 120, you will feel a difference when you're typing. You're going to feel it less laggy. You're going to feel that it responds faster. If you want to know how I configure Western, how I went through the whole setup process and why I switched from Kitty to Western, you're going to find this video here. I explain everything in it. I explain everything in detail. So go and check it out. So after setting this setting to 120, I used Western for like a week. I don't know, maybe over a week ever since I found out about this. I haven't used Ghosty ever since, but I did feel the difference. Western feels more like ghosty in terms of performance. I don't feel it choppy anymore. I don't feel that I'm slower when typing in Western. So I started a discussion in the Western 
repo asking if this setting could be 120 by default. If we go to the video, you're going to find that here. Let me scroll up. I left a pinned message in this video here. Let's just read more. We're going to scroll down a little bit. And there you're going to be able to find the discussion that I started. Let me open that real quick. SH. I don't know anything about FPS Hertz. I thought that my monitor was 60 Hertz, but it turns out that it's not 60 Hertz. It's 75 Hertz. So I tried setting this max FPS to 75 Hertz. I still felt it laggy and choppy, but I do feel a difference if I set it to 120 compared to 75, even though my monitor is 75 Hertz. I don't know how that works. I'm not experienced in anything related to video, video games, anything like that. All I know is that setting it to 120 works better for me. But if you want to find out more, if you want to understand what happened or what's going to happen with this discussion, just go to this link. You can scroll down here. This person was really kind and was really nice, explained a few things. Setting it to 120 by default would consume much more power on systems that the displays are only 60 FPS. I assume that's 60 Hertz, but like I just mentioned right now, mine is 75 Hertz and setting Western to 120 makes it feel way smoother. So you can keep reading this discussion. You're going to find a little bit more information. I attached some screenshots here as well. Even though my monitor is 75 Hertz, Mac OS or the tool that I use to set the resolution sets set to 60 hertz as you can see here it's a little bit confusing for me like i said i'm not experienced with anything video related so if someone in the comments knows more about this please feel free to let me know because i'm sure other people will have the same doubts and questions here's something that i would like to try though if you have a 60 hertz monitor if you can try setting this to 120 please let us know if you feel a difference between 60 and 120 when using western is it better does it run smoother or does it not there are a few other settings that you can play around with all of this you can find it in my dot files all the settings that i have all the comments all the links and everything where do you find my dot files let me go to that repo right now it's here and here's where you're going to find all the information and all my different files if you like this repo make sure to start it notice that we're at 173 stars as of today. This is where I keep all my Mac OS and Linux related configuration, mostly Mac OS because that's my daily driver. If you want to know what the path for this file is, you can find it here at the very top of the screen. So this is the file that you have to be searching for here. The computer that I use is a Mac mini with the M1 chip, 16 gigs of RAM, and I'm running the latest Mac OS version as of today, which is Sequoia, however you pronounce that. But someone in another YouTube video mentioned that they have issues, even if they set this max FPS value to 120 when running on an Intel based Mac. So if someone out there is using an Intel based Mac that can confirm if this works or not, please do so. Or if you're running a Linux distro, if you can let the rest of the people know in the comments, if you feel a difference or not, we would appreciate it. So again, just to confirm, the only reason why I made this video is because I thought that Western was slower than Ghosty and Kitty by design, and it's not. It's just a setting that caps its performance. Which one do I prefer, Western or Ghosty? Ghosty has a few more features that I like, like the quick terminal. Notice that I'm in Ghosty right now on the left, and I'm just going to press Command S. That brings up the quick terminal. I think that's pretty nice, pretty useful. If I press Command S again, it just goes away. Ghosty also has what is known as shaders, which I like a little bit, but I do love the fact that Western configuration is in Lua the same way that my NeoVim configuration is. So honestly, I don't know which one of the two I prefer now that I know that Western can be as fast as Ghosty. I love both of them, but due to the extra features that Ghosty offers, I think I'll be sticking to Ghosty for now, but I just wanted to be fair to Western as it's a great terminal emulator. Notice that if I press the right key on my keyboard, which is the one that you see here on my index finger on my left hand side, it's going to switch to Kitty on the right hand side. And I'm just using Kitty as a placeholder for my notes. If I go back to the other tab, I'm just going to press this other key. I'm back in Ghostly right now. So this allows me to switch to Kitty to take notes pretty quickly. And this is outside my Yabai window management area. I just wanted a sticky notes app that allowed me to use Vim motions. So that's why I came up with this solution. If you're interested in knowing how I did this, let me know down in the comments and I can create a video if a lot of people are interested. Remember that this video is not a full review of both terminal emulators, Ghosty and Western. If you want to get a full review, how I view images and NeoVim in both of them, and all the different settings, go and check each one of the videos that I mentioned. Okay, so let me know what you think. Let me know how it goes if you experiment with this setting in Western. I hope this was useful. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.